What is up all of my beautiful wanderers of the world? Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My, in, case you did, <laughs> in case you guys did not know, my name is Walter. I am a flight attendant and you guys are joining me on yet another layover. Woo! Yeah, let's go to work, Walter. Make some money. Well, I am. So... <laughs> Guys, this is a layover we have been to before, but only one time, but it is in the country that we have come to know, we have come to love, and we have literally come to crave, because at this point, I literally believe that sangria and paella are just running through my veins. Like, I believe that if you were to cut me open, it w I would bleed rice and wine. And you know what? I'm not mad about that. I'm not. And that theory does intrigue me. Anywho, so like I said, we are in Madrid. Oh, I didn't even do a drum roll. We are in, like, I'm so tired, guys. We are laying over in Madrid, Spain. Yes, that is right, not Barcelona, but Madrid. Um, we are here for a rousing 21 hours. So we were delayed like two hours last night coming out of JFK. So that cut into our layover. So we were here for 24, now we're here for 21 hours. But that is okay, we're gonna make the most of it. Um, plans for this layover include shopping, eating, and drinking in that order, or maybe out of order, I'm not even sure. Um, our schedules come out today. Today is the 19th, our schedules come out um, for October, for our October bid period, so I am going to have to stay in, do that, get on my computer and make sure that that schedule is looking okay, make any necessary changes that I need to do to that, and yeah, that's it, just shop, eat, and drink on this layover, buddy, buddy, guys, I am so tired, we didn't end up leaving until like 10 p.m., maybe even a little after that, and it's currently, let's see... It's currently 5.30 in the morning, so I literally have been flying all night. I am so tired. Guys, I forgot, what, oh, I didn't even tell you guys what I did. So, I, um, of course, I came over. We came over on the, the Boeing 767. I was the galley, so you guys know that's getting all the meals prepared, getting the galley set up so for us to do our business class service. So, yeah, that's basically what I did. Flight time was 6 hours and 31 minutes after we finally left. But, like I said, we were delayed for 2 hours, so that's just not fun. All right, guys, I'm about to get into the bed. I love you, and I'll see you in a few moments. Whoa, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are showered, dressed. Let's go out and explore Madrid. All right, guys, um, I have to tell you my October schedule was absolutely trash. I uh, wasn't happy with any of the trips. And they weren't bad trips. They just weren't like, oh, my God, let me film this trip. You know what I mean? It was just kind of like random three-day domestic. So I tried to swap them out, but... It was like a rat race, and every time I try to swap a trip out for a better one, someone would get to it quicker. Yeah, someone would get to it quicker, so it would be like, well, can't do that one. So then you have to move on, and then someone would get to that quicker. And then it just ended up being like a wasteland of just like random three-day domestics that I did not want. So yeah, I'm going to be stocking open time, which is where all of our available trips are that can be picked up. I'm going to be stocking that until kingdom come, really, or until I um, find a better trip. So we shall see. Guys, I tell you that this hotel in Madrid gives you um, free gummy bears. They just have like jars of gummy bears just, just chilling, just chilling on every like desk or reception desk and you just grab a handful. And keep it moving. Okay, well, you don't grab a handful. There's a spoon where you can clearly like scoop it up because grabbing a handful would be really disgusting. But you get my gist. You get my gist. All right, so plans for this. Jose recently mentioned that Jose was here actually last week and he mentioned that he discovered a delicious restaurant not too far from the hotel where we lay over at. So I am going to attempt to find that restaurant. And we'll, so we'll see. Can't find it. I'm gonna face him and force him to give me directions to this restaurant because he said they had delicious chicken wings. And if you guys know anything about me, I love some wings. So let's go find it. But first, let's appreciate the beauty of Madrid. Also, it's like 87 degrees here. It is hot AF, guys. It is hot. I'm wearing shorts and I thank God I like last minute 
hack shorts uh, before my trip and I am so happy. So happy I did because I would be miserable right now. It is so hot. The sun is shining. Guys, I can't find it. I'm calling Jose. I don't care. He can judge me all he wants. No, I don't really care. Guys. <laughs> So I did manage to find the restaurant, but uh, the waiter did not speak English, and I speak very little Spanish, so I am going to be very interested to see exactly what it is I just purchased, because I hobbled together everything I've ever learned from Rosetta Stone just to, to get through that conversation, and it was very painful in case you were wondering. But yeah, I don't know, yeah, no clue what I got. No clue what I got. Jose. Did manage to get me here, but did not manage to get me through that. <laughs> or <laughs> did not manage to get me uh, through ordering. Yeah, so there you go. So this bad boy, like I said, no clue what this is. I just pointed to it, and it is actually delicious. It's like sangria, but very carbonated. Like maybe like sangria beer, because that makes sense. I don't know. But it's delicious. It is so good and so refreshing on a hot day like today so I'm just waiting for my food like I said no clue what I got we'll see when it gets here I just pointed at stuff uh, it's not exactly what I was thinking of but it will have to do I was actually thinking about actual chicken wings not chicken bites but it will do all right guys so that was kind of yeah, yeah. This is what happens when you take Jose's advice. It never works out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, uh, but I think I'm going to stick with what I know. And that is paella and sangria when I am in Spain. That's just exactly what I need to stick with. But I'm about to head over to uh, probably Zara. Go see if they got any good clothes in there. And then probably walk around a little bit and then go back. No. And then get some paella and sangria because I'm still hungry. And then go back to the hotel. So follow me. All right, guys. I am in Zara. Uh, didn't, not finding anything that I'm particularly like in love with or that I had to go home with. But I did find this really cool bag. I want to show you guys because I think that's something I might get. Hold on a second. Guys, I want it. I want it so bad. It's only 50 euros.
my god, guys, I stumbled into a Primark and it is literally insane. It is like an actual mall, but it's one clothing store, but it is huge. You know, there's like floors and floors and floors. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue where to start, but I am excited. Guys, this is all one store. Like, this is all Primark. It's, it's like ridiculous. Alright, guys. I ain't even sorry, y'all. I ain't even sorry at all. I got some cute stuff at a very affordable price, and I ain't mad. And neither should you. Alright guys, so I stumbled into a paella shop. Don't ask me why. Don't, don't, don't attack me over this, alright? I know I just ate, but you know what? It's gonna happen again. Of course, first things first, sangria. Let's give it a taste. So good, guys. Oh my goodness, this is delicious. Y'all, I'm gonna I'm I'm come back to you when the food gets here, but I'm a, me and this me and this drink, we need some alone time, so I'll, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Guys, I did not go with uh, paella, I went with tapas, and I don't know what any of this is. This is wings, I don't know what this is. Obviously potatoes, I think these are croquet balls, I think these are filled with cheese, but we will see. All right, guys, I figured it out. I'm pretty sure this is uh, chicken. I thought it was like a plantain or something, but I'm pretty sure it's chicken. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Could be something. I don't know. Could be goat. Could be a horse. But I'm going chicken. All right, guys, I am now back in my room. Uh, pickup is at... I want to say 8 a.m. So wake up call is at 7 a.m. So I am going to hit the bed right now so I can get a nice nice night of sleep. I love you guys. I'll see you in the morning. And good morning, good morning, good morning, all of my beautiful wanderers. It's that time again. It's that time again. Actually, I'm running really late, so let's just speed on through this. As you guys can see, I am dressed and ready to go and work this fight back. Uh, to JFK. I'm going to be in the back today because I was working up front last night. So, you know, we switched. So, up front last night, in the back today, uh, working with main cabin. Um, the flight's probably going to be about seven and a half hours to JFK. We should get there around 12, in the 12 o'clock hour, sometime between 12 to 1. So, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed me spending and throwing away gobs of money yesterday the way I did. <laughs> It was fun for me. I hope it was just as fun for you. <laughs> it's not going to be fun for my bank account, though. Anyways, I'm running late, so I'm going to leave you guys here. But I know. <laughs> you know what time it is. I know you know what time it is. Go ahead and click on another video. Go and click. Go and click clap. Go and click it. Click, 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 on another video so I can have some warm, fuzzy feelings while I go to work. All right. It's time. I got to go. I love you. Bye.